What's going on everyone? It's Rylan with Rylan's Amazing Photography here and today I'm out to do some bird and wildlife photography. Um, it's been an exciting past couple of days. I've had a lot going on. I've been crazy busy with portraits. Um, I was I had a really exciting day yesterday um, when the Z9 was announced. Which yes, you're correct in the fact that I'm filming this once again on the day that it is supposed to be coming out. So if you're seeing this, I guess that means maybe I had some luck or maybe not because I need a video anyways. But I am I'm I'm in an excited mood. I feel like we're gonna have some luck. It's it's starting to get cold. This is the first time I've been able to be back in this area since early spring of 2021. Um, this area um, is usually really grown up in the summer and I'm just not po it's just not possible for me to get down in here because of snakes and ticks and stuff like that. So um, I'm finally able to get back down in here which I'm really excited about. And so um, I'm shooting with the D500, the 200 to 500 millimeter and I'm gonna be going back in here and looking for some animals. Um, at some point in this video, I also want to kind of talk about my thoughts on the Z9 as well, because that's really exciting. So, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna gonna do my thing now. So I've been hearing quite a few birds and I've even got some glimpses of some. Um, I couldn't really make out what they were except for a cardinal. I saw a cardinal and then the other birds were either chickadees or some sort of nuthatch I think. Um, there was a blue jay that was calling forever up in one of these um, really high trees in front of me. Um, even though that it is fall and a lot of the leaves are falling off and um, Visibility is starting to become much better. There's still a lot of leaves um, on the trees um, The leaves that are still on the trees got some pretty good colors. Um, I'm seeing a lot of orange a lot of yellow um, But some of them are still um, a typical green color. So hopefully um, I'm gonna be able to see something in the area. I'm at right now visibility is not very good with the tree that's um, directly behind the camera so um it's possible I just saw a bird um, with the leaves a lot of, um, there's a lot of leaves falling right now so sometimes it's hard to hard to tell if you're seeing a bird flying down or a leaf falling out of the tree so um, I'm trying to be very alert while um, giving you all updates and being ready to take photos all at the same time so um, the area that I'm in right now is usually a creek bed, um, but during the um, fall and winter, it's usually pretty dry, and it's almost completely dry right now, and it's, um, it's a beautiful scene and a beautiful location, so I would love to photograph some birds here. I'm just um, not sure that's going to happen today. So after being out here for a while, I've decided that I am going to go ahead and leave because it's quieting down. Um, much more back in here there's not as many birds calling and I haven't seen anything for a while I usually exit back in here behind me but um, as you can tell it is still pretty grown up out back there um, so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna come forward this way um, which um, seems to be a much safer and better way right now um, I'm gonna stop here and talk to you all for a second so I'm planning to go to my left up um, around a tree line it's not as back in the woods or back like in a habitat more um, it's more out in the open but there's typically quite a bit of bird activity in the tree line in the area where I'm headed so um, I'm gonna head over there now and hopefully we're gonna see something soon so I was gonna head back in this direction back here behind me around that tree line but it just occurred to me um, since it's a cool day it's a cloudy day and um, it's getting close to the time of year where deer are much more active 24 hours a day it is possible um, and quite frankly plausible at the same time that there's going to be a deer back here um, 
back in this direction because that's a pretty hot spot for deer so um I'm gonna head back here I'm gonna be real quiet and hopefully by some small flicker of a chance I'll see a deer whether it be a buck or a fawn or a doe um, I'll be happy with any of those so crossing my fingers I'm crossing my toes um, I'm headed there now so I'm back in the area where I was really hoping to see a deer and unfortunately there's not one back here um, but I am actually going to walk back in the woods a little ways because it's been a long time since I've been able to do that and um, thanks to the cold weather and that there has been a few frosts um, I think I'm gonna be able to do that and since there's still fall colors on the trees um, that it's also gonna be more potential for me to be able to see birds and get good um, photos and footage of birds um, which would be a big plus for me right now because um, thus far I haven't taken a single picture while I've been out here so um, I'm gonna head back in here I'm gonna cross my fingers cross my toes cross my nose every part of my body is crossed I, I just need something um, one animal would make this um, video worth it I think at this point so I'm um, gonna head back into the woods a little ways and hopefully I'm gonna see something The colors back in here right now, as you can kind of see um, behind me, are absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's so many pretty yellow and oranges back in here. Um, I'm trying to keep my noise to a minimum because this um, area that I'm in right now is actually a pretty popular deer trail. And it actually leads back to a tree stand. Um, so I'm trying to be quiet. I, I hear some birds back in there. I'm not sure what kind. Um, I'm gonna go back in here a little ways more. Um, I'm not sure how um, grown up it is back on this trail still. Um, it's Everything isn't completely dead like it will be in the end of fall and the early um, beginning of winter. But, but um, as you may or may not be able to hear, there's definitely some birds back in here. So. Um, I'm gonna wrap up talking right now and I'm gonna hopefully um, get some photos. So I went back into the woods a pretty decent ways um, and I didn't see anything. I didn't bring the camera with me um, just because I didn't wanna make no, more noise than I already would be. And um, carrying a camera on a tripod is um, quite a bit of noise. So I just um, went and took my um, photo camera with me. I didn't take you all along. But you didn't really miss anything because I didn't see anything anyways. So um, I'm starting to run out of options slowly but surely. Um, and that's okay because every day just um, isn't a day that you're going to see wildlife. Um, and it sucks but it's just part of doing this. So um, today might be one of those days I'm not going to um, get my hopes totally down quite yet. I am going to remain to be out here for um, a decent amount of time and hopefully my luck will change but I don't really know for sure so um yeah this is this is my life so finally after um almost probably an hour of being out here I just had some luck oh my gosh um a tufted titmouse literally came like right up to me um, those birds are literally just so calm and they always let you get close to them and, and as long as you're still and quiet they really just don't care and it's incredible it, it was an amazing experience I wish I could have got um, the shot in some fall colored leaves but I didn't um, it started kind of decently away from me and you'll see some of those shots and then it literally flew like just a few feet away from me and just kind of sat there and looked at me it was it, it was amazing um, as usual um, so I'm gonna throw those photos up on your screen and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna have a seat and then I want to talk a little bit about what I think about the Nikon Z9 
So I'm sitting down now and you can see the new blind um, that I got for photography back behind me. Um, it, it's in a pretty decent spot um, for deer and um, larger wildlife um, rather than birds. Um, so I, <laughs> moving on from that, I want to talk a little bit about the Nikon Z9. Um, I mean, honestly, it's everything that I wanted. It's literally um, a dream camera. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting it. I, I feel like I've said that about cameras in the past, like the Z72 um, and the Z62 or the Z6 or the Z7. I know that I was kind of all on that bandwagon as well, and I was like, I'm going to get one of those cameras, and then I never did. And the main reason that I never went for any of those cameras was I just didn't feel like the autofocus was up to par with Canon and Sony. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and act like I've never considered switching to Canon and Sony because that's definitely crossed my mind gonna adjust this camera here a little bit um I, I've stuck with Nikon for the past um, four years mainly because I've already invested a lot of money in Nikon I've put a lot of money into lenses I've put a lot of money into camera bodies and it just felt kind of crazy to me to just step up and go get a Canon R5 or go get a Sony A1 or do anything like that that's going to be just a huge purchase for me when I don't really have the lenses to back it up and granted I would have sold all of my Nikon gear at that point um, but I didn't and I never did and now I definitely don't intend on it thankfully because the Z9 um, is officially here they've been teasing the Z9 for months and to be honest, I was uh, I, I was scared. I honestly thought they were going to do all this hype for the Z9, and then it was just going to suck. And I mean, there, <laughs> there's no other way to put it. I was terrified that the camera was going to suck. And yesterday, they came out with the announcement, and it is literally my dream camera. I, and I, I have to say, um, the Z9 is amazing because I don't think there's any other camera on the market that can do what it can do at that price point. Um, granted, the Canon R3 and the Sony A1 is probably gonna give the Z9 a run for its money, maybe even the Canon R5, but none of them are really at that price point. Um, the Z9 comes in at a price point which literally surprised me. I, I truly thought the Z9 was gonna be like $6,900 on the day of its release. No, Nikon came in and did five thousand and five hundred dollars um give or take a few um and that's just that's crazy to me and i truly think that this camera is gonna save nikon now it's not like a huge camera um manufacturer moment because they didn't come out with anything that's like crazy um that's just really blowing your socks off the socks off and just in outer space but it's such an amazing camera. It is truly a flagship Nikon mirrorless camera. And if Nikon didn't come out with this camera within the next year or two, I would have been switching camera systems and I can say that confidently. Um, I was very close here recently um, to getting a Z7 II or a Z6 II. I was very close to going for one of those systems and I'm so glad I didn't because the autofocus um, in the Z9 is like probably 10 times better than it is in those cameras um, on the z6 II and z7 II, you're probably going to get pretty good decent autofocus for portraits and stuff but when it came to doing bird photography and um d different sort of wildlife stuff and landscapes and um fast moving stuff with sports you're just not going to get that great autofocus that you would with a canon r3 or a sony a1 and you can get that now with the nikon z9 the flagship mirrorless camera for nikon um, I'm definitely going to be getting one of these cameras and I'm not bluffing. I'm not bluffing this time. The Z9 is going to be in my camera bag. Um, but I'm predicting by the end of 2021 because they are supposed to start shipping by the end of 2021. And I'm going to have one of those cameras in my bag at the end of 2021 or early 2022. Um, hopefully they ship out on time. And if they do, I, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers it's going to be in my bag by the end of 2021. I'm so excited for this camera. Um, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it, and I guarantee you I will be. Um, so now that I've just sort of talked about that, I had to fanboy about it for a minute. Y'all know I love Nikon. I, I was really hoping they would pull through, and I think this camera is going to allow them to pull through. Um, now that I've went on this little bit of a rant, I'm going to head back out. Hopefully I'm going to see some more birds. At least I've saw one um, and got some shots, which made this whole trip worth it for me. 
um, this is a really great way to get out and decompress and so I, I feel like I've did that I've accomplished that I've got a good photo my mind is at ease but that's not gonna stop me from going out and trying to get another one so with that being said I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on my cap here and we are gonna head out and look for some more wildlife so um, I'll see you guys out there it's been a bit since we last spoke, um, but you've not really missed anything. I've been walking around for a bit and I've not really saw anything, to be honest. Um, I've heard some birds. Um, I heard what I believe to be a squirrel um, walking in the brush back in this area behind me. Um, but I never saw anything. I even hear birds chirping and calling right now, but um, they're not super close and I can't see them. So, unfortunately, that kind of sucks. But the sun has decided to come out um as you can see back here oh it looks like it's starting to get shady again back in there yeah there's a cloud that's about to cover it again but we're getting some sunlight right now um which isn't any good if we're not getting um oh yeah there's a squirrel yeah i just scared off a squirrel it's over back back in here it's on the other side of the creek it was pretty far away I wouldn't have been able to get a shot but I did scare it um at least it wasn't over here it would be even worse if it was on this side of the creek and then I scared it um but yeah um where it was that far away I wouldn't have been able to do much anyways in terms of photography so um yeah I'm not too upset about that um I'm gonna keep walking hopefully um I'm gonna see something else but um if I don't see anything else I think I'm gonna go ahead and close up the video because I've been out here for a while so I am going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Um, we didn't see a lot of animals. Um, I saw a glimpse of a cardinal. I saw a um, red-bellied woodpecker. Um, I didn't get a photo of either one of those things. I got some video footage of the woodpecker, but it wasn't great. And then, of course, we saw the tufted titmouse, which made this video worth it for me. It was a really great shot, um, and I'm very pleased with how that turned out. Um, I'm excited to edit it. Um, I talked on the Z9. Let me know your thoughts on the Nikon Z9 down below. Is that something that you're going to be purchasing? Um, I don't think it's going to make anybody switch from any other camera manufacturer to Nikon, but I think it's going to make a lot of people for sure stay with Nikon, um, including myself. So, um, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, definitely give it a like, subscribe, send it to a friend because you watching these videos helps me you know, buy a Nikon Z9. It's true, it does, it does. Um, I'm very appreciative of the support that you give me on YouTube as well as Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. You can get all of the links to my different platforms down below in the description or click on the link in the pinned comment. I also have a print shop where I sell beautiful prints of wildlife and nature. Um, and I also have a book titled Out of the Darkness, which um, details my first year of photography and shows some of the beautiful images that I was able to capture then. I'm working on a project that I'm very excited to share with you all. It's going to be coming out very, very, very soon. Sooner than you even think. Sooner than you think. It's going to be out around mid-November is what I'm aiming for. And I think a lot of you all are going to enjoy it because I have been questioned about it before. Um, on Instagram and on Facebook as well as I think people have even asked me in the comments of YouTube if I have this before and since it's getting close to the end of the year it's a good time to come out with this um, that's your only clue <laughs> once again thanks so much for watching today's video and I hope you all have an amazing day